when Christmas comes along, so does cold weather. And that's where a nice hot cup of cocoa normally does the trick. But we can do better. Let me show you gringos how to keep warm with spicy Mexican hot chocolate. Okay, to begin, grab a medium-sized sauce pot and put it on the stove and add one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. I'm going super authentic with this recipe, so let's add five ounces of piloncillo, which is a, a special kind of Mexican brown sugar. You can find this at Latin supermarkets. If not, I'll leave a link to this in the description. And dissolve these over medium heat. And while that dissolves, grab one cinnamon stick and one chile de otter bowl and toss them into a small frying pan. And don't you dare skip this step. Trust me, it will make a difference. Oh, and the chilies have a tendency to burn, so keep these moving. Okay, once they get a bit of a tar, add it to our milk. And if the milk begins to boil too much, uh, drop the heat down to medium low. Okay, once all the sugar has dissolved, turn off the heat. Then let's add four ounces of semi-sweet baker's chocolate. Aim for around 50 to 60% cocoa. It's gonna take a while for the chocolate to dissolve. Give it a moment. And once all the chocolate has been dissolved, add in two cups of milk. All right, give it a little taste test. It's good, but it's lacking a little spice, so I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. And finally, serve everything up in a theme-appropriate vessel. A yummy, yummy homemade Mexican hot chocolate in my tummy. But if you wanna forgo this and use the Abuelita brand hot chocolate, go right ahead. Black time I check, my Abuelita does believe water is a human right. This has been Chase Cut and Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. And on behalf of the Mexican-American community, may I just add, stop calling us Latinx.